Hello Automation Testers. In this video, I'm going to show how Chrome Path, an add-on for Chrome and Firefox browser, which can be used to write effective XPath CSS pattern to identify objects on web-based application while working with Catman Studio. Okay, let's install Chrome Path on Chrome and see how it works. Okay, so go to Google. Um, type download Chrome path yeah so you basically get two links um, as Chrome path supports uh, two different browsers one is Chrome and um, Firefox you get two links first two links so in my case I'm installing on Chrome okay so click on Chrome path or Chrome so in my case I already have installed a Chrome path in my um, laptop so uh, it says added to Chrome it's already been added okay so in your case when you're installing first time you will see uh, add to Chrome path then you can by clicking on this you a Chrome path will be installed in your machine okay once it's been installed you can see that a little icon here okay so if you see this Chrome path icon that means Chrome path has been installed in your machine okay let's see uh, by going to a uh, sample application see how this Chrome path works whether it has been installed successfully so again go to google and go to sample application in my case i'm using a uh, blazedemo.com as a sample application yeah so um on web page of the sample application uh, you can choose any web element and right click on it and click on inspect element yeah so once you have done the inspect element of a web element so um inspect element a browser or, or a section displays so in that right side you can see that um chrome path option has been uh, installed as a tab okay so that means chrome path installed successfully and it's working fine fine so since we have selected find flights button we can see that um xpath information of this particular button has been displayed here chrome path basically supports three um, pattern of uh, object identification of a particular web element one is relative xpath absolute xpath and css uh, selector okay so in automation mostly recommended as relative xpath to use okay so absolute xpath is not um, used but some case uh, in rare condition we should be using this okay so and also um, Chrome path it, it gives a CSS selector so if, if you're not using XPath you can use CSS selector half particular web element so let's try for other web element how we can it works so I'm selecting from port half um, departure city so you can see that now um, XPath information has been changed to that particular element yeah so this you can straight away you can copy and you can start using it so you can you can try for this element as well and you can go into some other element and you can see that just select any text element you can see that xpath pattern has been changing the element uh, for which you are selected right so in some conditions um, you have to write your custom um, xpath so in that case you can use this uh, little text field to write it on your own for example now if i type table and hit button uh, enter button you can see that uh, one table has been selected in this particular web page there is only one um, uh, table so it says one matching node found yeah so if you if you type um, input basically buttons or text field so it says on this particular web page there are totally 32 matching nodes so that means uh, not only uh, curve path gives the um, um, an automatically written XPath pattern. It also uh, it allows you to write your own XPath by need basis. Yeah. So, but mostly, Chromepath gives um, effective and a very good XPath pattern. So straight away you can use that. Okay. So let's let's go let's go back to Catalan Studio and see how um, Chromepath can be used. Okay. Okay. So. In Catalan, so basically what I do now, so let me create a new um, project. I'll call it as Crow Path with Catalan. 
yeah so select ok it's completely brand new project which I have created in Catalan um, so what I'm going to do now so let's go to sample application and let's take the sample application and for a few steps let's use grow path uh, how to create um, web objects yeah so this is the home page um, let's go back to place demo okay so what I'm going to do now so I select uh, basically I'm going to write a test which can launch this uh, link and browser and Chrome browser and um, select departure city and destination city and click on find flight okay so we should be able to see this particular web page so let's let's create that particular test um, by um, using cropons to write xpath and using that inside catalan okay so basically i would like to add one two three totally three objects into object repository the first step is um let's go back to catalan and um create um folder called um please demo home page so under this i need three objects the first object is um uh, from port so this is type as um select drop down i just Type select underscore from underscore port click OK and again I need one more object as to um, port again this is select object as well okay and I need another object type called as um, find flight so this is button so find flight so selected so none of i just created object so none of them i have um given any um css export or basic information okay so as you know catalan by default uh we can use a record and playback which eventually it records the objects into object repository i can straight away you can use it but in most of the real uh real time in a real project so uh, we might um, we can't use record and playback yeah so in that case we have to write our xpath uh, or uh, a different id uh, different pattern then we have to write on our own so in that case definitely crow path is more useful so in that context i'm showing how crow path is more useful with catalan okay so now select from port so let's write an object for this so this is the from port so i right click on this and inspect element select that and go to crow path and it has given the six path straight away copy this and go back to catalan and since it is an xpath pattern you can paste it here okay and again save us control s save and again to put go back to sample application right click inspect element and to put xpath is this one so so you can notice that i'm using only relative xpath not optative xpath copy this and go back to catalan studio xpath section and paste this so you can see little star that means not saved go to save and click on save otherwise control save you can do it so again button find flight so again xpath so go to sample application right click on this inspect element select this relative xpath from crow path and copy um, go back to catalan and save it it here and again save this object as well so once it has been saved so we got three objects which are required to do our test so let's go to test now okay create um, test case um, find a flight so we need a base URL which I'm going to use into default profile yeah so I hope you know how to use a uh, default profile profiling system in catalan um, go to default profile section and click on add so i'm going to give a name app url i'm going to it's a string i'm going to store app url here so url is just go and grab this 
link and go back to catalon and paste it here save it okay so I'm, I'm basically i'm creating a variable in default profile yeah so go back to test again and now start selecting the steps so we need the first step is open browser steps so that select web ui uh, keyword and search for open browser selecting open browser and again yeah so value type is global variable which have stored in the profile and select this yeah so next step is we need um, select statement select by value yeah so for this you're going to select an object here um, select object as from port and again similarly for to port as well so I just copy paste this line and I just change this to to port and again so next step is click yeah so I'm going to click on I'm going to select click keyword um, select button object selected here done so for so you can notice that still I haven't given any value for uh, to select in the top tones for from to and to put yeah so click on input and I'm going to type London yeah click OK and again I'm going to select two value is Paris okay it's done click OK so the test is done let's go to script node and see how it looks so we have open browser it opens the application on the browser and select the value for London from from port and for two port values Paris and it click clicks on object yeah the step is fine and everything is fine now save this okay you can see that it's been saved so I'll just do a small change go to project settings and I go to execution because when I'm executing this I would like to see the steps um, clearly so I'm going to so delay between actions I'll give one second yeah so that you, you should be able to watch how the execution happens apply and click OK and um, also I would like to select one more step here so that last step is close browser so after execution once uh, button flight find flight button is clicked so the next step is I would like to close the browser as well okay save again it's been done okay so let's execute the test go here click on Chrome okay so execution started here so you can notice that see that now execution started browser is opened and um, execution is happening with delay because since we have given delay in the execution yeah so you can see the first value has been selected now and I just um, minimize this you can see that what's happening here so selecting option from London you can see London has been selected it click it's going to click on find flight and browser is closed so that means uh, the X path pattern which I have given for this particular test it's been working fine and Chrome path is more useful yeah so this is how in you know, a Chrome path can be used to um, find object the effective object pattern so while working with Catalan okay I hope definitely it's going to be helpful for uh, people who are looking um, help on object identification using Catalan so thank you